okay so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and help the channel grow share the videos leave a like and or a comment all right so continuing here we have to do a bit of cleanup on uh some further cleanup on our groups here so the first thing i noticed is that uh, if i go to my timeline here i get all the posts from groups as well so some of these posts are from groups so like this one is saying i am posting as mary in this group so this is not supposed to be here however if i go to my profile i don't see those group posts here so which means uh, it's a very easy uh, setup we should do here to fix this so let's go to uh, profile.php and see what we did there to prevent this kind of thing so if I go to profile.php where we are getting posts we are saying get posts and then there's the ID okay so get posts there that's what we are using let me put a space bar there just to edit this oh what have i done okay now let's go to the timeline itself and see what the problem is so timeline is equal to home.php if i am not mistaken and how exactly are we reading from posts here so let's come down here and see what exactly is going on so this is the friends part and then finally we get here to okay so we are using select all from posts where blah 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 follower okay so there's something important we are missing here so let's come back here and see what it is so if i go to my posts in here in my post uh, table mm -hmm. So right here in the post table, we looked at owner. So only the ones with zero as the owner are the ones that are not part of a group or a page. Okay, so here let's look at how we can deal with this. So we say from post where parent is equal to zero, very good, and this, but then we can just add an and here easily. So we say and owner is equal to zero okay it's that simple so parent is equal to zero and owner is equal to zero that way we know because all the ones with an owner are not uh are not for profiles but for groups or pages so click here timeline and now we see that uh all the group posts are gone okay so to confirm that, let me go to my profile, go to groups, click on the group, and I see that none of this uh, is showing. This is a post, first group, I'm posting from group, and hello, test post on groups. Okay, so none of these are working out. So we've solved that problem. Now, the other problem we need to solve is when I go to my profile and go to groups, you see that I have this uh, image here, my first group, but then this image doesn't, uh, it shows, it doesn't show the group icon or the group cover. So we need to do that. So let me come back here and let's see what we do about that. So this is on the, on my profile, of course. So if I say profile content groups.php, that's where I am displaying that. And we are displaying the group.include.php. So let's follow that file, group.inc.php. So here, as you can see, it's checking for the image and what it's doing is it's checking for the gender. And once uh, it has found what gender it is, it will use that as the default. Hmm. But instead of all this, uh, it's better to use the cover. So let's go here, cover image right there. Okay, so cover image, cover underscore image. Yes. All righty. So what we'll do is we'll say images underscore cover image, like so. Uh, 
cover underscore image. And then we don't need this. We don't need to know the gender because that is irrelevant. And then if file exists, instead of profile image, we use cover image here. Let me duplicate so that uh, actually we'll need to leave this so that it's a square image. So I will change this one only, cover, and I will change that as well to cover. And that's probably the only thing we actually need to do, okay? If I refresh now, you see that I have a nice picture there, which is pretty good. <clears throat> and also it's important to know whether this group is private or it's public. So right after the friend echo here, I will echo something else down here. And this one will be, where did we actually save this? I, I don't remember. So it's a good idea to just go to the users table and actually check where do we save, okay, it's group type. All right, so group underscore type, like a so. And uh, that should be it, so I'll refresh. And you see, it says public. Well, let's put a bit more room between those two. And let me put a inverted commas on the edges there, just to, uh... okay, so there we go. It's public, yes. Now, if you want to remove the decorations there, you can uh, style it as you wish, because I can, um... I can put a span here instead, like so span and then a closing span here of course and then i will style and say text decoration is equal to none so let's see if that actually works or not and it definitely doesn't work hmm who would have thunk it well that's because the style should be on the um on the a tag itself this one so I'll copy that to here. Mm, there we go. So my first group, public. So yeah, so you can add your styles in this uh, span here if you want to, but uh, I think this does the trick. So click and we are on the group. And then the last thing now we need to do is if I go to my member, this one who is just a member here, uh, if I try to access my groups, I'll find that there is nothing. So let's try that. Let me log out. Oh, log out. So let's use Mary's uh, account. Yes. There we go. So we are doing this as Mary. Now, if I come to groups, you will notice that uh, no groups were found. But why is this? Well, the reason is that because it's checking to see the groups I created. It's not checking to see the groups that I actually belong to. Okay. So we need to figure out how to deal with that. Okay. So let's come back here to group. Uh, so this is profile uh, content groups. That's the file here. So get my groups. Yes. So we have to look for this one, get my groups, and update how it actually gets the groups. So this means we have to go to the group class because we instantiated that here, and that's what we are using. So I'll copy this, get my groups, and let's go to classes. Where are we? Group.php. Yes, yes. So where is that function? Get members, get my groups right there. So here we have query select all. So this one is, uh, let's see, select all from users where owner is equal to blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is all good because we're going to get all the groups that you own, but we should add some extra stuff here. So how do we do that? Well, before we do any of this return, we must add to this result here, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I will do is I will take a step here, check in, um, 
what, 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 what do we call that table? Sorry, here I have to just check. Group members, yes. Check in group members as well. Now, I don't say this often enough, but it's important to put comments in your code. The more comments, the better. So just get in the habit of putting comments. Uh, I don't put comments because I don't want to make these uh, tutorials too long, but comments are important because two years from now, you come back to check your code. You'll be like, what exactly was I doing here? You will not know what you were doing. So commenting is very important. So here, let's use a query here. Let's do exactly this. The only thing we don't need to do is instantiate the DB again. So I'll put that over there. I just want these two lines. So let me put that here like so. Okay. 